Hey guys, it's Rosario with Click Invest, and it's another day, and with that, another click bite. Uh, today I want to focus on your, <laughs> your goals. Uh, we're at a time, or we're in a time where it feels like the sand shifting underneath your feet, right? So you could have started this year, you've got your annual goals in front of you, you know you want to accomplish, whether it's you want to add X amount of rental properties to your portfolio, or you want to do Y amount of flips to generate uh, uh, personal income this year, whatever it may be, uh, we're on shifting sand, right? And with shifting sand, your goals in the short term are, are a little cloudy, right? So what I wanna do is, is help you guys refocus and uh, how you do that is how I'm doing it right now and attempting to do it is by getting back to a few things that aren't muddy or that aren't uh, cloudy. And that's your, your mission statement, your vision statement, and then lastly, your short-term revenue goals, okay? So uh, at a time where things are volatile, your mission statement isn't gonna change. You know, why you do what you do day in, day out, or how you do it day in, day out isn't gonna change. So for example, for, for ClickInvest, it's delivering excellence in every conversation, in every analysis and in every transaction. So in everything we do, we wanna deliver it with excellence. That's not gonna change regardless of what's happening uh, around us, right? That still is a constant. So focus on what's constant. Uh, our vision, our long-term vision is to be the end-to-end -end partner for real estate investors across the country. That's not gonna change, right? So. Uh, the the vision is the long term. You're looking into the future. This is who we are. This is who we're gonna be, uh, and and how we're gonna do it, right? For a client base, those things don't change regardless of what's happening around you. So focus on your mission, right? Which is what you do day in day out. Focus on your vision, which is where you're going, right? And then focus on your short term revenue goals. And the reason why I say short term revenue goals is because right now. Your long-term is certainly cloudy, right? You don't know what the year is gonna end up looking like. Now, you you can still be mindful of your long-term goals and you still have that in front of you, but you need to be really diligent and, and, and <laughs> crazy. I was gonna whip some other words out there, but you wanna be really mindful and focused on your short-term revenue goals. And the reason why I'm saying short term is because you got to focus on the next 30 days right now. What's going to move the needle in the next 30 days? Whether that's cutting your expenses, okay, or whether that's capturing uh, income that's out there. So if you're a landlord, that's going out and making sure you're capturing all your cash flow, right? Um, or that's uh, from the expense side as well. Maybe you're a flipper and you have a property that's out there and it could rent out in cash flow. Okay, well maybe you need to sit down and determine, should I focus on getting this property rented out and refinance and, and get out of it so that I have a cash flow producing asset, right? That's That could be a great option for your property. Uh, before you just go running off and doing something like that though, obviously reach out to us if it's, if it's a listing with us or reach out to your agent, whoever you're dealing with and make sure uh, that you have a backend lender in place that you could actually refinance out of because you may start to go that route and stick a tenant in there and then you can't refinance and now you're still stuck, okay? So um, the reason why I do this is not, the reason I'm bringing this up is not for you to just go out and start you know, machine gunning decisions. It's for you to sit down and think about your short-term revenue goals. For example, for us, we need to look at, okay, we were gonna generate X amount of money, you know, pre-COVID-19 in, in in uh, you know March of 2020, well, uh, COVID-19 comes into play. Woof! A good portion of that revenue goes right out the window, right? Because closings couldn't happen, so on and so forth. So, what do we do in the next 30 days? Do we sit here and twiddle our thumbs, or do we sit here and say, okay, who's still buying? Who's still lending? Um, what are they looking for? And let's get laser focused on filling those orders, right? So. Uh, we're putting a plan in place so that we can produce revenue in the next 30 days. And, and I want to encourage you guys to do the same thing. Again, whether that is reducing ex expenses or capturing uh, revenue that's out there, that's just stagnant that you can pull in. Um, so be mindful of those things, okay? 
So I hope this was helpful to sum it up again. Number one, don't lose sight of your mission. That's how you do things on a daily basis, okay? And then number two, don't lose sight of your vision because regardless of what happens in the short term, your vision is still there, okay? Your vision for the future and what you wanna do as a company is still there. Okay, num number three, focus on your short-term revenue goals. Be mindful of your long-term and what your annual goals are, yes, but be laser-focused on what you're gonna do in the next 30 days to, to produce revenue, uh, to continue to fund your operation and, and keep moving forward, all right? Thanks, guys. Have a great day.